Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with a quick tip in Cubase. Now, when I woke up this morning, it was zero degrees outside, and that's why I'm dressed like Steve Jobs, except for the fact that there's grease stains all over my hoodies and I weigh 100 pounds more than the guy. So I guess you could call me Steve Slobs. But anyway, today I'm gonna show you how to dial in your BPM for projects you're working on in Cubase. Let's get into it. Okay, folks, so like I said, it was super cold today, and when I'm cold, I listen to a lot of reggae, and it makes me want to write reggae. Um, so I'm going to show you, uh, when I have an idea, I typically come up with a chorus and put a little few chords to it, but then when you start recording it, you really want to dial in your BPM, your beats per minute, your tempo for your song, and sometimes that decision that you make, it's difficult to go back on if you're recording a bunch of audio, so you should really decide up front in a project which BPM you're using. So in order to demonstrate how I would choose a BPM once I have a kernel of an idea for a song, I'm going to show you how it works here in Cubase. I'll start by making a little metronome and groove agent. I just have an acoustic kit loaded up. It's called Funky Rave, and I just do this because I don't route my metronome out to my screen recorder. So this will serve as my metronome, but it'll also serve to show you that it's easy to switch tempos with MIDI. It's a little bit more difficult with audio, but it's worth the time and energy to figure it out to dial in your BPM. So we'll start by making a quick metronome. So what we will do is hit the Alt key and add a bar here, and we'll go in and we'll find our side stick, and I'll add quarter notes there and I'll do one louder and three a little bit quieter. And then we can just duplicate this by hitting Control D, and then grab a bunch of them and duplicate those, because I'm just recording a single chorus, and then after that chorus is done, I'm gonna mess with the tempo. So, uh, now we have a MIDI metronome, essentially, and we can listen to it. Um, So I will tell you, reggae is typically between about 80 and 100 BPM. I double that up, so I will go be going between 160 and 200. It's functionally the same, but uh, when you play reggae guitar, typically the guitar stabs are on the eighth note, so one ant, two ant, three ant, four ant, and it's just easier for me to program drums if I double the tempo. I get a little bit more resolution per bar. I can figure things out a little easier, but that's just me. If you want to do 80, to 100 instead of like I'm doing in this tutorial, 160 through 200, just realize that your quarter notes will become your eighth notes, your eighth notes will become your 16th notes, and so on. So we can listen to this. That's 160 beats per minute. Now if we wanna change MIDI, all we have to do is change our project tempo down here at the bottom. So we can go all the way up to 200. And if we had a drum loop in there, it would be exactly the same. So I can actually uh, show you, because there's patterns programmed in, um, we can try this main loop. That's playing at 200. Now if I go down to 160, you will hear it's uh, slower. So it's easy to adapt the tempo after the fact on MIDI drums. It's a bit more problematic when you're working with audio. So oftentimes what I will have is an idea for a song, and what I will do is record it in, and then I'll mess with the audio until I find the tempo I'm looking for. So I'll do that now. Like I said, it is extraordinarily cold outside. So I wrote a reggae song because I've been listening to a lot of reggae about how I wish it was warm. And I'll sing the chorus now, and we'll record a lead vocal and a rhythm guitar, and then we'll sort of monkey around with it after the fact. So let's do that. There's an island in my mind And I go there all the time When the weather's bad outside I can run away and hide To the island in my mind There's a place where we can go Far away from cold and snow Taste the coconut and lime Leave your worries far behind in the island in my mind. 
Okay, so that's the chorus that I want to work with on this track. Um, now, if you start recording a ton of audio, what you'll end up with is having to time stretch everything if you decide that the tempo is not what you want. So right now, um, you can see it's on the grid because I recorded it to this. Now, if I start monkeying around with the tempo, what you will see is that it'll quickly get off. So, but there all the time. When the weather's bad outside. Now, if I switch this to 140, you can see the audio becomes shorter and it won't sync up with the MIDI. To the island in my mind. So what do you have to do to make the audio sync up with the MIDI while you're trying to determine your appropriate uh, beats per minute? Well, you have to switch the audio to musical mode. So in order to do that, you'll need to bring up your info line. I just took it away. I, you bring that up by hitting Control I or Command I on a Mac. Then you select each event and right here you'll have the option for musical mode in the upper right hand corner. I just hit musical and that becomes musical mode and you'll see on the event actually this little uh, indicator in the upper right hand corner of the event itself means that it's in musical mode. Now I want to do the same thing for the vocals as well. So I can click on that event and come up here to the right hand side of musical mode and click on that and I get the little indicator in the upper right hand corner of this event as well. So I recorded this at 160. Let's listen to it and then in real time we can adjust tempos and try to decide what we want. So let's uh, give that a shot. And now we can go faster, we can go all the way up to 200. There's a place where we can go Far away from cold and snow Taste the coconut and lime Leave your worries far behind In the island in my mind Now that sounds a bit too fast for me, but 160 sounded a bit too slow for me. Coconut and lime Leave your worries far behind in the island in my mind. So I've already done this exercise and I decided that 172 was about where I liked it. And I did that by doing 160, 165, 170, 175, and somewhere between 170 and 175 is what I liked. So um, you can iterate, you can listen to it and switch it by increments of five and sort of dial in an exact tempo you want. And then you can start producing in that tempo because you know it's the tempo you want for the song. So here is uh, what it sounds like at 172 beats per minute. Far away from cold and snow. Taste the coconut and lime. Leave your worries far behind. And that is a way to sort of dial in your BPM if you have a little idea, like a chorus, um, a little verse part, and you want to start producing audio and sort of flesh out the rest of the song, but you don't want to have to go back and redo all the audio because you don't want to tempo shift dozens and dozens of tracks. You'd rather actually record them at the native BPM that you're working with, but you can use musical mode to sort of dial in the exact BPM you want. And that's just the quick tip that I have for you today. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.